Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Karen. So in today's video, I'm sharing how I stumbled upon hydrogen peroxide for dental health, how I incorporated it in my daily routine, and the changes I noticed. So last October, I started noticing tons of plaque on my teeth. It was so bad that I had to scrape it off. Like almost every few days, I would scrape off the plaque only to see it depositing again. Additionally, I also noticed, and this is TMI, but every time I ate meals, I would notice tiny food particles on the side of my molars. And I thought that was really odd. Now, whenever I have anything going on with my teeth, the first thing that always comes to my mind is this book, Cure Tooth Decay. So I read it a couple of years ago, and it taught me the importance of good diet for dental health. And so at first I thought the situation with my teeth had something to do with not taking enough calcium in my diet. And so I started taking Moringa powder every single day. So Moringa has one of the highest calcium content and I decided to take it for 30 days, even made a video about it and I'll put a link to that in the description below. And after 30 days, I noticed that my teeth felt a lot stronger, but the plaque situation still wasn't resolved. Next, I thought it had something to do with vitamin A or D. So I started taking cod liver oil, but again, the plaque wasn't resolved. I even tried oil pulling, and it helped a little bit, but not a whole lot. And then it dawned on me, oh, let's try a different brush. So I went from using a manual toothbrush to an electric toothbrush, and that made a lot of difference. Like immediately, I noticed that the plaque came down by almost 60%. Now, around the time I was doing all this experimenting, I came down with viral fever and sore throat. And so I thought to myself, oh, let me get better and then I'll come back to addressing this plaque issue. Now, when I was down with sore throat, I was looking for natural ways to just soothe my throat. And one of the things that I was led to was hydrogen peroxide. Now, I didn't know much about hydrogen peroxide, especially the health benefits of it. And so I set out to do my research. I read many blogs, articles, almost every single Amazon review that I could find. And I also read two books. And from all this research, the key thing that I learned was that hydrogen peroxide is water plus extra oxygen. And it is this extra oxygen which is deadly for viruses and bacteria in your mouth. Now, the way I went about incorporating hydrogen peroxide was that I started with gargling since I was um, struggling with sore throat. So I took hydrogen peroxide, 50% hydrogen peroxide and 50% filtered water. And as soon as I started gargling with it, I got immediate relief. Next, I just out of curiosity, I made a DIY toothpaste where I took baking soda, coconut oil, few drops of hydrogen peroxide and uh, this is 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide and few drops of essential oil. Now this toothpaste, it not only left my mouth super clean but it removed all the plaque that I was dealing with all this time. Next, the way I used hydrogen peroxide was I made a DIY mouthwash, just water, hydrogen peroxide and few drops of lemongrass essential oil. And again, this mouthwash left my mouth feeling super clean. Now, this is a picture of my teeth I took after about five days of using my DIY hydrogen peroxide toothpaste and mouthwash. As you can see, no more yellow stains and no plaque. Now, an interesting thing happened when I used hydrogen peroxide mouthwash. As in, when I spit out the mouthwash, I noticed tiny film-like coating in the sink, and I immediately knew that this was a biofilm. So this is what a biofilm looks like. So this gets formed when cluster of bacteria are living together and covered in a slimy goo. And you know, upon contemplation, it dawned on me that while flossing and water pick and even brushing, all of these do an excellent job of getting rid of the food particles. I think the real issue comes when the bacteria and the viruses in our mouth are not addressed. Now, it's been roughly about two months since I started using hydrogen peroxide for oral health. And uh, I've, since then, I've tried different combinations. 
So as in few days, I went without using the DIY hydrogen uh, peroxide toothpaste and I used a normal toothpaste. And then few days, I went without using my hydrogen peroxide mouthwash. And what I noticed was that, at least for me, hydrogen peroxide mouthwash is an absolute must because on the days I didn't use it, like my mouth didn't feel as clean. And I got the best results when I was using both hydrogen peroxide toothpaste and mouthwash. And while we are on the topic of toothpaste, one ingredient you do want to skip, especially if you want to advance in your meditation practice, is fluoride. Now, fluoride, it calcifies your pineal gland, and this is one gland you want functioning, especially if you want to advance spiritually. Now, during my research, I found an interest, interesting piece of information, and that is the dirtiest place in your bathroom is, guess what? Not the toilet, but rather your toothbrush. And so one of the best ways to sanitize it is that after brushing your teeth, put it in a solution of water and then add a few drops of hydrogen peroxide to it. Similarly, if you use mouth guard or use dental retainers, then you can use similar situation to sanitize them. Now, a word of caution. Now, during my research, I found that if you have mercury fillings in your mouth, then you don't want to use hydrogen peroxide. In that case, you might want to consider using colloidal silver. Now, since using hydrogen peroxide, my mouth has felt super clean. I remember about two weeks into my research and I shared with one of my friends, I said, you know, energetically, my mouth feels 10 pounds lighter. And that's the thing, you know, when you use uh, hydrogen peroxide, especially as a mouthwash, it gets rid of all those viruses and bacteria, leaving your mouth super clean. Now, if you want to try out any of the DIY recipes that I mentioned, then here are the details. For toothpaste, take six teaspoons of food grade baking soda, add three teaspoons of coconut oil, 10 to 12 drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide, plus few drops of any essential oil you like. Now, when you are buying hydrogen peroxide, make sure that number one, it's food grade, second, it's 3% concentration, Next, it has no added stabilizers in it. As in, when you look at the ingredient list, it should only say hydrogen peroxide and water. And the brand that I like to use is Essential Oxygen. And if you would like to buy it, you can get it at a 20% discount with this coupon code. Now for mouthwash, I like to take one fourth parts of 3% hydrogen peroxide and mix it with filtered water. And to this, I add a few drops of peppermint essential oil. Now, if DIY recipes don't work for you and you prefer to buy it from store, then this brand, Essential Oxygen, they also have excellent mouthwash and toothpaste, and both of them contain hydrogen peroxide. And again, you can buy these at 20% discount with this discount code. Now, part of my routine is that I like to brush my teeth right before going to bed. And when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel the need to brush again just because my mouth feels clean. You know, one thing that really sold me on this hydrogen peroxide was when I came across a review on Amazon and it was by a 74 year old man. And he said, you know, I have been using hydrogen peroxide for oral health for almost 20 years. And uh, to this date, I'm using my own teeth and they are in excellent condition. So I just thought that was quite telling. And now over to you. Have you used hydrogen peroxide for oral health? And if so, what has been your experience? How do you incorporate it in your daily routine? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. I hope the suggestions in this video were helpful. As always, please only take what resonates, discard the rest. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.